After determining the order of string numbers, let's determine the location of the sampling point. We take this group of batteries as an example. This is a ternary 10 string battery. Dot there are 11 sampling points for 10 batteries. The same 10 strings of protective panels. There are also 11 lines. First, let's determine the sampling point. The first sampling point is the total negative electrode. This point, we mark the point of total negative pole as B dot. Second sampling point. And that's the connection point between the second negative and the first positive, and we mark it as B1. The third sampling point is the connection point between the negative electrode of the third string and the positive electrode of the second string, and we marked it as B2. The fourth sampling point is the connection point between the negative electrode of the fourth battery and the third positive electrode, and we mark it as B3, and so on. And the last sampling point is B+, plus, which is the total positive electrode. This point, after determining the order of the sampling points, the next thing we have to do is to check. We determine if this sampling point is correct. In general, we use multimeter to detect. We set the multimeter to the DC voltage file. We put the black meter pen at the first sampling point. The red meter pen is placed at the second sampling point. Everyone can see that it is about 30.45V. The black meter pen does not move. We move the red meter pen to put the red meter pen at the third sampling point. Everyone can see that it is about 60.92V. The black pen continued. Move the red meter pen and put the red meter pen at the fourth sampling point. Can you see is 10.0.37V. This voltage is increasing in turn. Each increase is about 3 volts. The black watch pen does not move. Continues to move the red watch pen. 0.130.84V. 17 to 92. 0.75V24.21V27.68V3 31.14V And now it's the last sampling point B plus 34.59V This voltage is a total voltage of the battery from B plus to B if the sampling point is wrong, the voltage does not increase in turn. There will be no such rule. This we also call it the accumulation method. Here to make a summary for everyone. What about the accumulation method, which is generally suitable for the battery with complex battery structure to determine the sampling point? Like a normal battery, we can judge whether the sampling point is correct through common sense. After determining the order of the sampling points, let's d determine the order of the wiring. You can take a look, this is a line. There are 11 wiring. I have said 10 batteries in front of the line. A total of 11 sampling points. 10 strings of protective panels also have 11 wiring. You can take a look at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11. The black line is the first line. We have to connect her to the total negative electrode of the battery. A second line is a red one. We'll take it to be one. A third red line connected to the second. We connect it to the B2 sampling point. Connected to the third is the fourth line. Fourth line we put it to the B3, and so on. For the last red line, we are going to attach it to the total positive pole of the battery pack, that is the B+.